Yo, 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 it's the Xbox Goes Kaleidoscope with some unique views and news for the YouTubers here on YouTube. And this is concerning Dead Rising 3. Basically, Dead Rising 3 shits all over infamous. And actually, I'm sorry, son, but it's the truth. Dead Rising 3 is actually the Grand Theft Auto of the zombie game genre. Okay, I mean, look at the attention to detail that you can see right here before your eyes. Right, this was one of those games that was patched after the fact, and it moves crazy fluid. Right here, I'm actually online playing with one of my homeboys, the Master Chief. All right, which is actually his channel's Xbox Uprising. Just so you cats know, and the customizations in this game are just beyond wit. So many things. Look at all the amount of chaos and havoc going on screen right now at this moment. The PS4 could not actually do that, all right? It just can't. It only puts maybe three or four characters on screen if that doing something. The rest usually just stand around, all right? As a matter of fact, how good this game is, you know, look at that, just the design and the architecture. They actually built an entire city. As a matter of fact, this is one of those games that even Marcus Phoenix from Gears of War would actually be proud, all right? Literally, he would actually be proud of this game. Why do you do shit like this? You know what I'm saying? Now, another thing as far as like infamous, Delston still doesn't have a license yet. In this game, I could basically drive almost any car. And not just that, but I could actually customize and build my own different types of cars. Look at this, a steamroller with fucking flamethrowers on the front of it, okay? Now that's beyond wicked. Look at all the zombies I just, we just finished passing. And this is online, flowing without a fucking hiccup. Okay? So, you know, don't be listening to them dumbass ponies. Them motherfuckers is basically butt hurt and salty. Alright? As a matter of fact, I actually should invest into the butt cream business. Because after the, after E3, I have a feeling I'm going to make a fucking fortune. Because fucking the butt hurt is going to be real after E3. All right, look at this shit, going from one building to another building. All right, I could go into most buildings in this game. In Infamous, you could only go into what the story missions are. This game even has a freaking free roam mode. Now, in Infamous, you wouldn't want free roam because there's not really much you could actually do. And this is months after the fact. I've had this game for about a year and something. Most people that played Infamous stopped playing. And look at this shit right here with this weapon. This would make Odin proud from fucking Marvel's Thor. Just think about that shit. That's how deep this game is. There's so many things in this game that you just keep discovering new things after the fact. Alright? Now, as far as like my rating, because I'm actually going to rate this game. I'm going to give this game actually a 9.5. That's how cool I think this game is because of the playability. And look at the melee. I mean, it has melee customizations on weapons, clothing, vehicles, everything on the fucking sun, yo. Could even go bowling for dollars, you know what I'm saying? Word up, you know what I mean? As a matter of fact, exclusives in the Microsoft camp are just better than the PS4. Even this new exclusive, Smite, <laughs> um, which was on PC but now is on the XB1 as an exclusive, even they making fun of the fucking PS4. Alright? Either way, comment, rate, subscribe, or more for it. And I'm signing off saying, there it is. Clear as motherfucking day, yo.